Good morning, Buchanan. I'm Megan Hoops. And I'm Taylor Brunzel. Here are your morning announcements. Bears, are you interested in photography? We talked to Mr. Herring to find out more about the design, visual, and media arts pathway here at Buchanan. Um, a digital photography pathway, we start off with introduction to digital photography. So they're learning how to use the camera, how to use Lightroom Classic. They, we also get a little bit into Photoshop. Digital Photography 2 is our concentrator class in the pathway. That class is a portfolio building class where students are deciding what they want to take pictures of, what type of photography they want to explore, and they're developing their own portfolio throughout the school year. And then my ROP Digital Photography class is primarily a class where we're focused on the commercial aspects of photography and how photographers make money doing their pictures. And for that class, homework is primarily students going out to events for the school, like sporting events. They take pictures at the events and we put it on our class Zenfolio website and put it out there and offer it for students to get a low resolution download for free um, digitally or they can order prints or high resolution download and all of that money goes back into the class and we are constantly going back and looking at what's going on with the website what's going on with our social media how we can get out there a little bit more and how we can build on our successes the ROP digital photography class also has an opportunity to get certified in Photoshop in the school year we have a lot more discussions about using the lighting equipment, the cameras, the Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, editing, all that stuff. The Matt Mueller Blood Drive will take place Wednesday, March 8th in the Multipurpose Room. The Latino Student Success Conference will be held on Monday, March 13th at Clovis North. If you are interested in attending, stop by the Counseling Center to pick up an application. Students, if you are parking on campus, make sure you are parking in the correct lots. Students may park in the mini Wawa lots and must display a parking pass at all times. Attention Bears, if you are interested in taking an elective next year, consider taking a class in the ROP Production and Managerial Arts Pathway. Bears, have you ever thought about a career in film and television? The Production and Managerial Arts Pathway with Mr. Pierce might be just what you're looking for. You know, so I, I started the pathway just kind of looking for a class to fill an elective and just over my time and all the projects and every, working on everything, I really just found like my passion and my career and it's something that I'm going to be doing into college and hopefully for the rest of my life. So the pathway actually has three classes um, starting with videography one and uh, videography one is more of an introductory class uh, just the basics of filming and editing and then the next step up from that is digital filmmaking and that's where we get to start work with DSLRs and we really start to study film and then the third class is the ROP videography class and that's what I'm in right now. Um, this is the, the junior and senior class and that's where we start to work on BNN and this year we actually moved into a new building. It's split into two sides, one being photo and one being for video. And on our side we have four editing bays, a storage room to keep all of our equipment, and a green room in the middle that the photo and video class can use. And then throughout this class we have three projects starting with a documentary and then followed by the short film and right now we're actually working on our music videos and that kind of wraps up the year. You really just learn a lot just by working. You know we, we do BNN every two weeks and that's no matter what segment you have, you always have something to work on. So we're constantly working and editing and just getting better. And so really it's just like honing the skills is really just what I'm taking most away from it. We will be back with sports after this. Hi, my name is Adrian Castaneda and I am the Bear Spotlight. I've been cutting hair since 8th grade, so about 5 years now, and my inspiration is probably my grandpa. He was a barber too, and he always cut my hair, so he's the one who inspired me. Um, the hardest thing about cutting people's hair is probably just time management. You know, you always got to keep track of your whole entire clientele list and what's going to be going on throughout the day. Another thing is uh, sometimes you're a little bit timid first starting out. And you really just got to be confident and really just dive into it. You can't be scared when you're cutting hair. The thing about cutting hair is that you're always making someone's day better. After they get a haircut, they're a whole different person when they leave the shop. So if you ever want a haircut, DM me on Instagram at Castee's Cuts. After high school and when I'm done playing baseball, I definitely want to pursue this again. Hopefully go to a barber college and try and open up my own barber shop one day. Thank you, Buchanan, for making me your fair spotlight. 
Do you know of someone who would be a good candidate for Bear Spotlight? Contact Mr. Pierce for more information. Good morning, Buchanan. Good morning, Buchanan. Good morning, Buchanan. I'm Megan Hoops. And I'm Taylor Brunzel. Here are your morning announcements. Be sure to check out Parisian Bakery at 401 Clovis Avenue. You like pizzas and calzones? Come down to coast to coast. Make sure to stop by Got Shocks Music Center over by Old Town Clovis. Bob's Good Burger, located on 625 West Shaw Avenue in Clovis, California. It's that time of year again, folks. Girl Scout cookies are back. With nine delicious flavors to choose from for only $6 a box. So support your local Girl Scouts today. And scan the QR code to order now.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bono, Bono, Bono! What's this week's Bear Talk question? Bear Talk? <laughs> I don't know what Bear Talk is. I'm famous. Anyways, this week's Bear Talk question is, who is your favorite celebrity and why? Mine is me. What? Did I say something? I'm a celebrity. We're here at the formal! This is what we do! This is what we do! This is what we do! Who is your favorite celebrity? Me. I say right foot creek Today we're here with Mitchell. AKA Don Lockwood. AKA the GOAT. Who is your favorite celebrity? Man, bro, I'ma have to go with Moneybag Yo. Moneybag Yo, bro, that dude is fire, bro. Up top. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds! See, everybody's gonna say Ryan Reynolds, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna go Ryan Reynolds. Oh, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool, free guy, I mean, come on. He was in Free Guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah, his name was Guy. He is that guy. I don't remember that part of the movie. Uh, Michael Jackson, because I love his music, bro. Bro, his newest album. <laughs> Jenna Ortega! Jenna Ortega! We love you, Jenna! Uh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, this is what we do! You don't see Columbus North, you don't see Columbus West, you don't see Columbus East, you don't see Columbus I doing this! This is Buchanan! Who's your favorite celebrity? Peter Griffin. Uh, Sydney Sweeney. Because I get told I look like her all the time. Uh, Dylan O'Brien, he's like my husband. Say Conan O'Brien? Dylan O'Brien, don't disrespect my Uh, Heath Ledger, because I mean, the best oh. Joker ever. You know, why so serious? We'll have a short- Uh, Stewie Griffin. What the deuce? This is Tarna Fulton at the news desk. Attention Bears, the BHS Filipino Club is selling heart-to-heart -heart Valentine's grams in room 855 at lunch and after school until February 10th. If you are interested in purchasing grams, contact Ms. Giannoni for additional information. Thanks guys, back to you. We're back with sports. Boys Soccer has a game against Central today at 3 p.m. Pep and Cheer will have their spirit night in the East Gym on Tuesday, February 7th. Boys Basketball will compete against Clovis North on Friday, February 10th. Girls soccer is on the road against Clovis West on Tuesday, February 7th. The Wrestling Division I Valley Championships will take place at Lamar High School on February 10th and 11th. Let's take it outside for a sports interview. I'm Chris Bencourt, and today I interviewed Dominic Cummins with Boys Basketball. Our team, we've been doing all right so far this year. Um, we've had a lot of ups and downs with the like coaching change, um, a lot of injuries on our team. So, um, so far, I mean, we're doing the best we can, trying to get better, compete, and stay together. One thing we can improve on is just um, more just trying, trying our hardest to like try to win a game and stay together. I feel like through all these ups and downs, uh, we've you know there's a lot of reasons for us not to stay together. And I feel like if we stay together, we can really become a good team. You know, finish out and win some games this year. Our team's greatest strength is uh, we're um, we're a pretty good defensive team. I feel like um, I feel like we can really defend the ball. We have uh, a lot of fast kids on our team and I feel like uh, that helps us a lot to stay in some games when we play the other teams. Um, by just staying together, you know, being motivated and try to win some games so we can um, go out and prove everybody wrong and win some games. And now it's time for scores. That's all for today, Buchanan. We hope you have an amazing Friday. This is Taylor Brunzel. And Megan Hoops, signing off. Take care, Buchanan. Filmed by Russell Cornelius Ichabod Alfonso Aloysius V. My dad is your dad. And joke's on you, I'm your dad. I'm both Brother, of your dads. Sister. Dad? Sister. Son. Mother. Birthday for me yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday. Wait, it was Jack's birthday yesterday. Hey. Oh, yeah. 
I have the high ground. No, you don't. You're my colors. We gotta get out of here. Mr. President, it's me.